This is your boy Precision Connections at PrecisionConnectionsAuto.com where the right connections are only connections. So as you can see we have a boat. I'm on a yacht and we're wiring up basic radio head unit. First I'm going to connect my speaker wires. So I'm basically on the marina right now and I'm about to connect up the radio on a boat. So Precision Connection does boats also. Need, let me know when you need power on the boat. Um, you have to start. No, no, you don't have to start. It. No, whenever you need power or whatever. Yeah. I don't have to start it. No, no, I just need to turn the battery on. Okay. You could turn it on now or no? Oh yeah. Yeah, turn it on now. Thanks. But he recorded it? Yep. All right. Promote myself a little bit. <laughs> All right, so this is speaker wires. So this has a four speaker setup. that we need to connect in order to get everything running so the boat has an external remote control that has to go on top of the deck so I got to take that into consideration when I'm wiring this up get that in there it's my rear speakers as you can see, this is copper that has rust all over it. So when copper rusts, that's the color that it turns to. Okay, is that a problem? Not necessarily. Not for this application. If we're doing amplifiers, then I would push to change the wires. Positive front. I love these crimp caps. Real better than tape.
So this orange wire is my remote wire, which is this blue with yellow stripe. And that's going to go out into the deck to the remote control. So I got that wire running here out to where you see the light is. And that's going into the cabin and um, to the upper deck. And this is the electrical system for the blue. And I got to access the remote control right there and as you can see I'm just gonna reach to where I gotta access so I gotta drop these two bolts in order to get the remote control and once I got the remote control I can install the new remote control because this is a remote control for the old this is the old remote control right here And let me see if I can get my. What size is this? This is 12 volts power, and this is the turn on. All right, I gotta sneak the wire through here to connect the remote control. I can see the light. This wire through. It's my 12 volts power. So this I'm gonna connect to my 12 volts power. Coming in from the ignition switch, and that's gonna turn the system on and off.
let's try to run this up. Last connection is going to be ground. I'm wondering if I can run this up, post to run it down. Some more ground. On these boats, I like to run the ground to the, the radio itself because these boats have a lot of fiberglass and trying to go the chassis ground route, especially with the remote control, the wide remote controls are not going to work too good. So it's always best to ground, get your ground power and your remote directly from the radio harness. And cap off this wire. Let me throw on the sleeve. Throw the sleeve in there. All right, so all I gotta do is bend back these tabs. Bend these tabs in. Make sure the radio is nice and tight. So I bend in as much tabs as I possibly can. So this radio is nice, snug, and tight. So you always want to make sure all your connections are made. So I got my. This is the microphone for the Bluetooth because you know we got to have Bluetooth on the boat. We got our main power harness. This we're not using right now. And then we got our antenna. Let me just turn this off. This might be copyright music. So turn that off. So what I also would like to do Sometimes these wires will hang. It doesn't give a real professional look when they start hanging below the panel. I've seen that on other boats. So I'll just slap a little tape to keep everything nice and sturdy. Then I'll just drop this radio in like so. And I'm just gonna, before I push it in, I could always take it out, but before I put it in, I just want to double check everything, make sure everything is working. All right, let me go to like some news radio because I don't have any music right now. So the video doesn't get copyrighted or get any. All right, so this is just some like talkative joint. 
Okay. So, so I'm out there. Um, let me turn this down a little bit so you guys can hear exactly what I'm saying. Hopefully this video don't run too long. So that's my Bluetooth mic. And the reason why I put the Bluetooth mic right there is because, as you can see, we got the bed area. And then we got the living quarters. And then we have the kitchen. Microwave system, everything. Closet, bath. I think this is the bathroom right here. Yeah, that's your bathroom. So, um... The microphone is in a central location, so if you're sitting right here, people will be able to hear you, and the microphone can also be directed towards whichever direction you're in. So if you're in the living area, you can face the microphone here. If you're in the bedding area, you could point the microphone towards the door right there. You can have an area. You could just face the microphone like so, and it's pointing into the kitchen area. And um, I'm gonna take you guys onto the deck and show you the um, the controls. All right, so this is the so that's the volume. The Beatrice area. I have a nice well, family well, over there. Well, not, you know, so the Beatrice is not done. And I want to change the source. So what else? Yeah, so this is the Beatrice area. Yeah, so this is the Beatrice area. So I have a nice family over there. Well, not, you know,